Hello everyone. My name is Alfredo Hayag. I am the Principal Technical Product Specialist at Peregreen Connect, and welcome to this video on using the decision function for advanced data transformations in flight path. By using the decision function, this allows you to control the flow of your field mappings in order to achieve the desired result. Do not confuse the purpose of the decision function with the if condition function. The decision function is used to control the flow of your field level, mapping so that you can take advantage of flight paths advanced functions like database lookup, custom scripting, table looping, and flight path standard functions if required, versus the if condition, which is used to set the value of a target field directly or by using flight path standard functions. In our example, we have a company that operates sales in the United States and in Canada. We are tasked with determining the sales region. Currently, a list of sales regions for the United States and Canada are stored in two separate database tables within the same database. In our data map, we will need to evaluate two fields in the source message, state and country fields to determine the sales region on our target message. First, we will map the country field on the source message to the sales region field on the target message. Next, we will add state to the list of selected source fields. Next, we will add a decision step to the canvas. In the first decision, we will check to see if the country value is not null or empty. If not null or empty, we will continue the flow, else we will end the flow. Next, in the then branch of the first decision shape, we will add a second decision step. In this decision, we will evaluate if the country equals United States. If true, we will continue the flow, else we will start a new flow. With in the then branch of the second decision shape, we will add database lookup that will do a lookup against the database table that contains a list of the regions for the US. Click on the plus button to access the function screen. Search for database lookup or select it from the advanced function section. Configure the database lookup function. In the database lookup wizard, choose the database from which you want to retrieve data and click next. Establish database connection Create a new connection or use an existing one from the Peregrine repository. Input the database connection details and test the connection. Choose the table you want to query from the database. In this example, we will choose U.S. regions. On the next page, map the source field the lookup value to the corresponding database table column. Based on the lookup value, the database columns to be retrieved will be displayed. Drag and drop the target fields from the right side to map them to the retrieved database columns. Click Finish to complete the DB lookup configuration. And in the else branch of the second decision shape, we will add a database lookup that will do a lookup against the database table that contains a list of regions for Canada. Enter your credentials to establish a server connection. Click on Table and then choose Canada Region. Drag and drop your source fields and connect them to the database fields. Also, please note that on the Transformation Canvas, there is a tab for error handling. There are three options available here. Log Error and Continue Transformation. End Transformation. Or use Default. Use Default uses default settings that are configured at the overall map level. On the top of the toolbar, there is a Settings icon where you can set the map settings, manage all fields' default values, manage all transformation errors. After configuring your map, you can test it to see if it functions properly. Toggle the testing mode to on and click the Start button. You can also select Edit on the decision function to see the step-by-step -step results. If your test is successful, you can click the stop button, then turn off testing mode. Click the close button and you're all set. You can also perform an overall testing by clicking the play button at the top of the mapper and selecting your source document. Click transform. Congratulations, you've successfully learned how to use the decision function in flight path. Remember to thoroughly test your configuration and validate the output to ensure accuracy. We finally reached the end of our demonstration. I hope that we were able to convey the richness and ease of use built into the data mapper. 
Watch our series videos on the Data Mapper, which guides you on how to use the features we discussed today in various mapping scenarios which you may encounter in your integration journey. We work with our customers and partners each day to get the insight we need to provide you with a better experience. Integration shouldn't be hard. That's why we built Peregrine Connect. An evaluation version of Peregrine Connect's suite of applications can be downloaded from our website as www.peregrineconnect.com. We look forward to hearing from you.